all right, just read this article about apparently an abortion provider right here in communist Canada saying that they'd be willing to provide abortions uh, set if Roe v. Wade, the uh, law that legalized abortion in America, was ever overturned. So uh, the baby butchering baby killers here in Canada are going to do the dirty work of the baby killers over in America. It's uh, nuts. But it says here on CBC News, Winnipeg abortion provider bracing for increased demand from U.S. if Roe v. Wade overturned. So yeah, so if you're not going to kill your baby in America, just come over here to Canada and we'll kill the baby for you. It's uh, complete insanity. But going to read this article. It says on CBC News, an impending decision from the U.S. Supreme Court that may overturn the constitutional right to abortion in that country could increase strain on health care providers north of the border, the executive director of the Winnipeg Women's Health Clinic says. Abortion providers in Winnipeg already struggle to meet the demand from patients in this province, Kemlin Nimbahad, or, I'm probably not saying that right, said. Quote, we always have more demand than we can meet, so having more of the demand from people outside of a jurisdiction, particularly outside of Canada, that will put pressure on the system. Yeah, I hope, I hope they get so much pressure they shut down. It's ridiculous. Oh, I mean, look at this sob story they're putting on. On Monday, federal, family, uh, federal families minister... Karina Gold said if Roe v. Wade is overturned, women in states where abortion becomes restricted can, can get proceed the procedure in Canada. But Nim Bard said only women who can afford to make the trip will be able to access abortion in Canada, which they, will leave many women without options. Quote, this is not the answer, we, just to be sending people north, unquote, she said in an interview with Maori Dauhus host of CBC Manitoba's afternoon radio show, Up to Speed. I, again, I'm probably not saying these names, right? I'm just not good at pronouncing names. Quote, the answer is to push their, their legislators to make laws that actually support the needs of the people. More than a dozen U.S. state legislators, including the North, the one in North Dakota, uh, has passed what are known as trigger laws banning abortion, which will come into effect if the landmark 1973 decision that allowed legal abortions in the U.S. were overturned. Yeah. And I want to point this out as well. Uh, nowhere in the Constitution does it say anything about abortion. So, uh, and it's funny too. These 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 pro-abortion Democrats. Oh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna codify Roe v. Wade into law. All the Supreme Court was simply saying is that it gives states the right to vote on abortion. You know. Oh, it's it's undemocratic what the Supreme Court is was gonna do. Um, actually, no. Giving states the right to vote, giving states rights, is not undemocratic. It's actually the most democratic thing you could possibly do. If anything, it's these pro-abortion Democrats who want to force it on by federal law. Uh, you, you cannot ban abortion. But that's what you call undemocratic because they're trying to destroy states' rights. You know, But it's funny how just the... I mean, hypocrisy and double standards and social liberalism are all one and the same. But continuing on, five states have pre-existing laws banning abortion that were nullified that were nullified if by the Roe decision, which would come back into force. Other legislators are prepared to pass more restrictions if Roe and the 1992 decision in Casey v. Planned Parenthood were struck down. The American news outlet Politico obtained a draft decision from the Supreme Court that suggests a majority of the justices are prepared to are prepared to overrule the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. Although the decision is not considered final until it is delivered in court, the leaked draft sparked immediate response from both those who are anti-abortion and those who support legal access to abortion. Overturning Roe would not have any immediate effect on abortion access in Canada, but Nem Bard said people in this country should take it should not take it for granted. Quote, even though it's a decision made that's made in the States that has, has an impact in terms of the discourse happen, that happens in Canada, she said. Basically, they're saying it's going to have an impact in Canada if the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade actually goes into effect. But basically, uh, so don't kill your baby in America, so just come to Canada and we'll murder the baby for you. That's how sick and depraved this country is, uh, this country I live in called Canada. And it's not surprising, we have a, a prime minister who doesn't even want to use the word mankind because it's not gender neutral. So what do you expect? I mean, it's a bunch of insanity. Pro-abortion, social liberal insanity. So just don't be deceived by all this garbage. It's just a bunch of, of lunacy. There's no other nice way to put it. So may the grace of our Lord, and by the way, lunacy and liberalism all go hand in hand. So I want to just throw that in there. But anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.